Agenda 14 is perhaps the biggest update we've done so far. Its central theme, if you wish, is auto-completion. Not just of tags, people or emojis, but also of links between your notes and something we call actions. And how powerful those are, I can show you later on in this movie. But that's not all. There's a lot more we added to this update, so let's jump straight in. I'm Alex, and together with my friend Drew, we make Agenda. And this is Agenda 14. Auto completion was something we wanted to add to Agenda from day one. And I'll let you into a little secret. The open quickly feature of the last update was essentially part of this project. It works in a very similar way. Let me show you. Perhaps the simplest example of how auto completion works is to show you how you can add an island emoji to this text. It automatically kicks in when I start typing certain characters. For instance, a colon followed by the word island. If I hit enter, it inserts the emoji. Of course, the most popular use case will probably be for tags and people, and also those now autocomplete. If I type the hash symbol, Agenda automatically suggests the most popular tags in my library. I can use the arrow keys to select one, or I can continue typing to search for the tag I'm looking for. Just hit return to complete it. The same is true for people. If I start with an add sign, I'll see the most popular people in my library, but I can continue typing if I want to search the one that I need. In Agenda 14, it's now also possible to create tags and people with spaces in their name. You can do this by typing the name of the tag or person in between parentheses, like this, or this. And we've made sure that it also works fine with Unicode and accented characters. Another place where we've added autocompletion is in search. If I start searching for a tag or a person, Agenda now also suggests or autocompletes my tags. On iPad and iOS, autocompletion is there as well, but it works slightly different. Because of the smaller screen, the suggestions are not shown in a pop-up like on the Mac, but instead show above the keyboard as suggestions. What's really cool is that if you use an iPad with a magic keyboard, you can still use the arrow keys, just like on the Mac, to select any suggestion that you want to use. Hit enter and it will be inserted. Now besides autocompletion, many of you have also asked us for a way to see all your tags. This is now also possible using the tag browser. On Mac you can open it via the window menu, but you can also open it by clicking any of your tags and choosing the manage tags option. And you get this list of all the tags you've used in your library. You can search for tags or create new ones. You can rename tags or merge them if you have used different variants of the same tag. And there is a quick way to search for a tag in your library. So on Mac you could for example keep the tag browser window open and use it as an alternative for the sidebar. Finally you can create overviews of one or more tags that appear as a permanent entry in your sidebar. Now you might have noticed that when I was editing the name of one of the tags, I could also change its color. This is a new premium feature in Agenda 14 that can make tags a lot more powerful. Now before I show you all these other things you can do with tags and how it works with autocompletion, I'd like to take a moment to talk more about these premium features. If you enjoy using Agenda, then the best way to support us is by buying its premium features. Not only will you get a set of features that will make Agenda a lot more powerful, it even includes any new features that we can build with your support in the 12 months following your purchase. After that, if we add more features, you would have to buy them again. But if you don't want to, you will still keep everything you have up to that point. Now, let's go back to tags. As I've mentioned, you can now change the color of a tag, which can be useful to indicate things of lower or higher priority, or things you've done, or things that are kind of for later. But there's more you can do with tags. Imagine I want to indicate that something is really important and has a high priority. I can then just type hashtag priority and in brackets high. And of course if something is not that important, I can type hashtag priority low. 
Now what's very powerful is that not only will it autocomplete these values, but I can also search for these. I can search, for example, everything with the tag priority or only nodes that contain items with a high priority. Now these values can also be other things than just text, for instance, numbers or dates. Now the combination of tags together with colors and values can build really powerful systems, especially if you use them together with smart overviews in your sidebar or search. And with autocompletion, it's just a matter of typing a hashtag and the system will basically guide you through previously used values or all the options you can add. But of course, you might not always want something to be recognized as a tag. For instance, a CSS color that starts with a hash character or some number that contains one. So we've also added ways to suppress this behavior. Let me show you how that works. Normally when I would type something like hashtag 123, it would be recognized as a tag. Now imagine I don't want that and I just want it to stay as it is. Now there's two options here. If it's already a tag, I can just open the inspector and tell it to convert it back to plain text. Alternatively, if I know I'm going to type something like this, I can start by typing a backslash character and then type hashtag 123. Now if I hit enter, it will be staying as it is. And this doesn't only escape things like tags, but also people, reminders and formatting like bold, italic or a numbered list. It also works with links. If you paste a link into Agenda, it will try to make it look nicer and shorten it. In fact, Agenda will now even try to fetch the title of the website and make it use that. Of course, it will remember the original link so that if you click it, it still all works. But sometimes you don't want this behavior. And again, if you first type the backslash character and then paste the link, it will keep the link directly as it is. Now, speaking about links, Often when you're taking notes, it can be useful to reference another note or another discussion you had, for instance. You do this by creating agenda links between notes. You could already do that. You would copy a note as an agenda link, paste it in the other, and now you've created some way to go from one to the other. For instance, if you have a meeting, it can be really useful to reference some discussions you already had with other people or uh, to previous notes. Now in Agenda 14, this is a lot easier now and a lot more powerful. And I'll show you why. So in this node, I would like to create a link to another node where I discussed some research I did on YAX. So that's really easy now. If I start typing two square brackets, I just get a similar menu that you get when you use the quickly open feature. And I can navigate it using the arrow keys. But just as with quickly open, if I continue typing the name of the node that I'm looking for, you will see that it filters down all the notes in my library with the word research in it. Now it's just a matter of selecting the one I need, hitting enter and Agenda will insert the link for you. If I click it, I'll jump straight to my research note. But what's really neat is that Agenda now knows that this meeting note is related to my research and it has created a so-called backlink that you can find under the related notes in the inspector. So if I want to jump back to my meeting, I can just click here in the related notes and I'm back where I was. So it's now super easy to create links between notes in Agenda 14. Now here's a tip. Often when you insert a link, it will be to a note you recently edited. And so if you type two square brackets and then type the word recent, Agenda will show you all the recent notes you edited. And while we're on the topic of recent, we also added a really cool new premium feature, which is this clock icon in this lower part of the sidebar. If you click or tap it, it will only show the projects that you have recently visited. This greatly helps you to focus on the projects that are relevant right now and temporarily hides all the others. So I hope you're ex as excited as we are about these new features. But I told you in the beginning that we added one more type of autocompletion, which is called actions, that can be really powerful. And let me show you now what I meant with that. Remember how I told you that you could escape things by typing a backslash? Well, this backslash character is a lot more powerful than that. If I type it, I get this menu of actions I can take. This includes actions like inserting a tag or table, but also changing paragraph style, formatting, or actions like marking a note as done or pinning a note. And for most actions, it will actually also come up with suggestions, like starting a reminder in 30 minutes or for tomorrow. 
which makes scheduling a reminder much faster in most of the cases. And remember that when I was creating a tag I could add values in parentheses? Well, this works for most actions too. For instance, if I want to create a table, I can just type backslash table and it will create a default 2x2 two two table where I can add columns and rows. But instead, if I know the number of columns and rows that I want, I can just type backslash table and in parentheses 3x3 three three, and it will immediately create a 3x3 three three table. We can add parameters to the actions that customize the action. If I type, for instance, backslash reminder, at the bottom of the suggested reminders I find all the properties I can add. For instance, I can set the title of the reminder to remember the milk and even add multiple parameters separated by a comma. For instance, I want this to go on my shopping list and I want it to be tomorrow. Boom. And like I said, it's not just for inserting things into your node. Agenda supports a wide range of actions that are sometimes just easier to type than to having to go back to your mouse. For example, if I would want to assign this node to the 17th of October, I would have to click the calendar icon, navigate to October, find the 17th and then assign the date. Instead, I can simply type backslash assign 17th of October. Boom! And if I didn't get to this node for today and want to push it back to tomorrow, I just type backslash tomorrow. Some things are just easier to type. If you want a complete overview of all the actions that Agenda now supports and all the parameters they take, then have a look at the Agenda community, where they are all listed. And I'll also make a video that goes into much more detail. So if you'd like to see that one, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Now that should give you a good overview of everything that's new with auto-completion in Agenda 14. But like I said, that's not all. This update has many more things. For instance, we've added support for editing attachments right from Agenda. You can mark up a PDF and the result will automatically be saved into your Agenda library. We've added the ability to add to show lines and grids when drawing using the Apple Pencil. And we've added a bunch more export options. But most importantly, we've done a lot of work on the editor to make it more consistent, to make things like tapping checkboxes more e easier and more reliable. And we've added support for iOS 15 features like live text uh, and the contextual menus. There's just too much to show. So go to the app stores or our website and give Agenda 14 a try. This update has taken quite a bit longer than you might have been used from us. And actually that was because it was simply not an easy year. A lot was going on in the world and I think that's been true for many of you. I hope however that it was well worth the wait and I can't wait to see your reactions. And best of all, we've done already a lot of work under the hood to prepare us for Agenda 15 and the ones that we will be working on next. And so on behalf of Drew and I, stay safe, stay healthy, and can't wait to hear what you think. Bye bye. between notes and links between your notes and a <laughs> sky <laughs> yeah it's a and not just the <laughs>